So let me just take you briefly through what, what you should do to comply with, uh, with a fetal echocardiogram. So what I would recommend once these guidelines are out, to take that and revise your protocol for what should you include in the fetal echo and disseminate that to your sonographers and physicians. And I think you should include all these planes and images and clips as part of your uh, fetal echo evaluation on a day-to-day -day basis. So, four-chamber view in grayscale, four-chamber view in color, and spectral Doppler of the tricuspid and mitral valve, biometry of the tricuspid and mitral valve, looking at the ventricular septum, probably in a more perpendicular approach, and looking at the flow across the foramen of valley. So that's at the level of the four-chamber view. The pulmonary veins, you should see at least two, one on each side. Now with the newer technology, you can see four of them, as you see right here. And certainly with the newer modalities, you can see the whole branching of them. But you need to see at least two, and you need to do Doppler, spectral Doppler of one on the right and one on the left. 